Good day, <clears throat> and welcome to again our sit down with Father John. Today I'm again in front of our one of our stained glass windows, and it's the stained glass windows of the martyrs of La Florida. You've all heard about the missions of California and the missions of Texas, but you don't hear anything about the missions of La Florida. And the main reason is that all these missions were burned by the English in the, at 1700, around 1700. And let me explain. When the Spanish came to Florida first, they settled in St. Augustine. And then the Franciscans and the Jesuits moved in that and they converted the Indians. They also worked together with the Indians and they set up missions all the way from St. Augustine, St. St. Augustine, right away over to Alabama. And it's called a nice thing called the missions of the Florida. Tallahassee, on the 300 years anniversary, rebuilt one of the missions called the Missions of San Luis. And the Mission of San Luis is where we had some of our martyrs, some of the Florida martyrs killed by the British. In the Mission of San Luis, we had one of our great martyrs, Antonio Cupio, from the Appalachian Indian tribe. And they worked together with Franciscans. We, today, can't go to church, but we have the hope that we will come back soon. But the Appalachian Indians and the Franciscans, they couldn't go to church, and they had the hope of going back again, because English burned their churches, and they murdered their people who profess their faith in Jesus Christ. Our window here is beautiful. It shows the mission of San Luis in La Florida. The red flame showed it's been burned by the British and the Indians. And there you see Anthony Cupia, him and his companions, they were that the states is the cross of one of the missions, and so the English had them up against the cross, tied them again in the same death as our Savior. When Anthony Cupio was dying, he told his companions to have faith. God is with them, and they should trust. And he said he could see the Virgin Mary with him, giving them the help to profess his faith in God. And that's what we have up here is the Virgin Mary helping out the Cupia as he has been burned at the stake on the cross. Many other martyrs of the died. Young boys and altar boys died trying to save the Blessed Sacrament. Ladies and women trying to save their families. They profess their faith in Jesus Christ. Like what today's gospel says, anyone who believes in me has eternal life, and they kept our faith. We're asked today to keep our faith in the coronavirus. We can't go to church, but the God is with us. But God was with our companions of the martyrs of La Florida. And remember, we're going through a hard time. Others went through a more difficult time than we do. Just trying to bring you up to date in the church. There isn't really much happening. We, I know Bishop Gregory met with his consultants and they are trying to find when would a good time for us to come back to church? When would be a good time for you to receive Jesus in the Eucharist? And they're working on that. And I think it'll be sometime soon. I'm hoping it will be in May. And you can help us to have it in May 
if you keep praying the rosary to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Mary is the mother of Jesus and May is her month. I, I think if we pray to her, asking her, can we open our church in the month of May, it'd be wonderful. I've got a lot of calls regarding faith formation, and all I can say about faith formation is, I'm praying to Our Lady and to Jesus that we'll be open before the end of May, that I can give the young children of RCIA the three sacraments of initiation, baptism, confirmation, and Eucharist. Get permission of the bishop to have confirmation where I come from Andes, and hopefully in the first week in June to have First Communion. I can't promise, but that's what I'm praying for. Also, last Sunday we had a good response of those who came to, to venerate the image of the divine image of mercy, and also. A lot of you came to confession to Father Bill. And just to remind you, like yesterday I told you, you can call the office and make an appointment, and myself and Father Bill will come over to church. And yesterday a family called, and we did that as well. We're always here to help you. Don't be afraid to call us regarding sick calls, but please make sure they're very urgent, not that you can wait. And if you want those who are isolated, you can call the office. Father Bill and I will talk to you or we'll help you overcome your isolation. These are just a few things that are going on in the parish at the moment. Other people are asking me what's happening in the golf competition, what's happening in the ladies' tea. I, I said they were postponed. But John Barnes Committee have decided to wait till October to have their golf competition. A day will be told you soon. I also talked to the tea ladies, and they're thinking the same thing. They'll have their tea sometime in October. So don't be worried about these little other things. They're not being worried about, but we look after them as we come along. But in the meantime, let's all keep praying to one another praying that God will guide us through this difficult time where we're isolated at home. And this is a good time to remember, we're not only isolated, but the martyrs of Flower Day, they lost everything. They lost their homes, their missions, but they still trusted in God. And I think this is a good time for us to pay, to pray to the martyrs of Florida, especially for Antio Cupio and his companions. Let us pray. O oh God, Father of all nations, you have summoned us to announce the freedom of your children. We thank you for calling us your servants, Anthony Okupia and his companions, to proclaim the Catholic faith during the birth of a new nation. May their example of the suffering of forgiveness give us courage to bear witness to Christ in our own time. We also pray that we may be counted one day among your saints. And through the intercession of your servants, grant the following grace which we ask from your loving kindness. We pray that we can get back to church and celebrate the Eucharist for we overcome the coronavirus. We ask this through Christ our Lord. And then we pray to Mary, the Mother of God, when the Cupio had a great devotion as we say together, remember, O compassionate Blessed Virgin Mary, that never was it known to anyone to fled your protection, implored your help, or sought your intercession with left and angel. Inspired with his confidence, we fly unto thee. O virgins, O virgins, our mother, to you we come before you we stand, simple and sorrowful. O mother of the word incarnate, despise your petitions, but in your clemency, hear and answer them. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Have a good day till we meet again with Sit Down with Father John.